In this video, I'm answering 15 things that you should know about distributing your film on Film Hub. This isn't a question, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on which platforms I've got on since I originally posted my tutorial on Film Hub back in January. I was on a few platforms, but the only worthwhile one was Tubi. Since then, I've gotten on Vudu, Apple TV, TCL, and a few other small platforms. Tubi is still the only one producing any real results, but I'll provide another update in a future video. I've also given Film Hub permission to post my movie on Amazon. For those who may not know, I actually posted on Amazon myself back in February of 2020. And the reason I did this is because I want to get on Amazon's kind of Tubi compatibility competitor freebie. That's really the only way to do it. You can't get on freebie by yourself. And I feel like that's going to be another one that's going to produce a lot of income for me. So again, I'll post a video in the future after my movie's been on these platforms for a little bit. The chapter tip was especially helpful. Definitely will revisit this when I'm ready to get my next feature scene. In case you haven't seen my original tutorial, my one biggest tip there was to add chapter breaks. So that way you can get on advertising video on demand platforms like Tubi. The platforms don't create the chapter breaks yourself, so this is something you're gonna have to do directly in Film Hub. It's not really worth its own video, so I'll give a brief explanation on how to do it here. When you add a new title, there will be a section called Chapters where you will name your chapter and give it a time code. You basically wanna mark specific places in your film where you can add a chapter break and it's not gonna cause disruption to the viewer. Think about TV shows that had a lot of natural act breaks where they would place a lot of commercials. That's essentially what you're doing here. Film Hub has a lot of rules for chapter breaks, such as not having a chapter break in the first five or last five minutes of your movie, as well as having a chapter break every eight to 12 minutes. I'll link their guide in the description. It's not hard, but take the time to do this right. Just remember you won't be able to get on AVOD platforms like Tubi or Freeview without this, which in my opinion, AVOD platforms are gonna be your biggest form of revenue on Film Hub. My title has a delivered status next to it and it's delivered on Amazon. I was wondering based on your experience, does this mean Amazon has accepted it and it will go live on the platform? or are they just reviewing it? Also based on your experience, how many weeks or months did it take for you to see other channels picking up your project? This has changed a little bit because recently Film Hub has refreshed their entire website, which means I probably need to do another tutorial video for 2024. Delivered is now referenced as licensed on Film Hub, which basically means the platform has decided to put your movie on their platform. This can take a few weeks before it goes live. There's real no transparency here on when your film will actually go up on their website. So you just need to be constantly checking to see if it's actually gone live. It's really frustrating, but that's just the way it is. As far as the frequency and how many platforms will pick up your movie over time, I've noticed that I'll have like a spurt of like three or four that'll all come at one time. And then I'll go through other months where I just won't see anything. So it really just depends. It kind of changes over time. But for me, I noticed I'll get picked up by one platform at least once a month. I have a question regarding the production company. If the film is self-produced without a company, should I just put the main producer's name? Would not having a production company adversely affect being accepted by Film Hub? I'm going to preface this by saying that I am not an attorney and you should seek legal advice from a professional whenever possible. It was recommended to me that I start an LLC for my company after I created my movie, which I ended up doing. However, more than likely you're going to be fine if you don't do that and just make up a production company for yourself. I operated my company for years without being incorporated. I also have a group of friends that made films together for the 48 hour film project. We called ourselves Team S'mores Productions. It was not a real company. I've distributed one of my short films on Film Hub through that company. You should really think about creating an LLC if you decide to make feature films, but it's not gonna be the end of the world if you don't. Again, seek legal advice from a professional when necessary. This next one is kind of a two-parter and I wanna address these things kind of separately here and you'll see why. If I decide that I no longer want the film on Film Hub or any of the platforms that the film has been accepted on, how am I able to remove it? And then somebody else commented later on the video, how do you just glance at the fact that your rights are available to them for perpetuity? Everything on Film Hub is non-exclusive, which means that you can take your film off the platform whenever you'd like. In regards to the perpetuity comment, they are the gatekeepers, so unfortunately we have to play by their rules. If you don't already have a large audience on a platform like YouTube, there are going to be things like this that you're just gonna have to deal with. In perpetuity means 
forever. We just have to trust that the platform is going to take our titles off whenever we ask. No distribution platform is perfect. This is just one of the best options that we have available to us as indie filmmakers. And to address the question about how to remove a title, basically you just have to email Film Hub and now they are requiring you to pay a $99 fee per title if you want to take it off the platform. However, that charge goes away if you have it on the platform for more than three years. Can you do a video on cue sheets? This person is referring to music cue sheets. I don't really think it's worth an entire video, so I'll give a very brief explanation. This is a good segue for me to tell you that I recently created an indie film self-distribution checklist where I give examples of paperwork that you may or may not need before distributing your indie film. Link is in the description for that. An example of a music cue sheet is one of the items that I put on that checklist. Here's my music cue sheet that I put together for my film, Cashing Out. I should preface that I had no idea what I was doing when I put this together, so bear with me if everything isn't right. You basically wanna list out every single song in your film, the time code where the song begins and ends, the duration of the song in the film, not actually how long the song is, but how long it appears in your film, the composer or writer's name, and the pro affiliation if applicable. There's also the usage code in which there's a key above the spreadsheet that breaks down what each of the abbreviations mean. Examples, background instrumentals, background vocals, etc. Basically, you wanna fill out all of this information as best as you can. Let's go through a quick example. I have the song run in by Mark Robillard from Artlist. You can see when the song begins and ends that this is a visual vocal and how long the song plays in the film. PRO stands for Performing Rights Organization, which is basically the organization that collects royalties for the artist. Most of the music I used in cashing out didn't have this information, so I described it as unknown. However, there are a few songs from Storyblocks that did have the affiliation, so I put that information in. Do your best with this. It's honestly probably not going to make or break anything. Can I upload multiple dub versions of a film on Film Hub? I couldn't find a straight answer on this, so I'm going to assume that you can't. I'm also not 100% sure if you could upload multiple language captions either. If you have an answer for this, leave me a comment. I'd really love to know so that I can make an update to a future video. Is adding a closed caption file necessary? Yes, because the platforms will not take your movie without having a closed caption file. I personally used Rev.com for my film. It's only gonna cost you a few hundred dollars so it's really worth doing. This is a bit too long to read, but I'll leave this comment on screen where you can pause and read it if you'd like. Basically, he's asking my thoughts on the possibility if Film Hub ever went bankrupt and our movies get tied into that. This actually happened pretty recently with another aggregator called Distriber. That company ended up going bankrupt and everybody who had a film on there had their film tied into the bankrupt case. My comments here are pretty much the same as the person who mentioned about how your film's being in perpetuity on the platform. You have to play by the platform's rules and sometimes their rules are going to suck. And I completely understand the frustration because that is a harsh reality for filmmakers. The odds are always gonna be stacked up against us because we're vulnerable artists and they have something that we really need. You got one option where you could put your film on Film Hub and potentially lose it on a daily basis. Or you got another option where you could put it on something like YouTube and just have absolutely nobody watch it. I get it. It sucks, it's frustrating. I'm right there with you guys. It's a risky business and you're ultimately gonna have to decide if that risk is worth it to you. For me, right now, building an audience and getting eyeballs on my film is the most important thing to me. So that means I have to put my movie on platforms where people are actually gonna watch it. So far, so good, but that absolutely doesn't mean that things can't go south in the future. I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. What about release dates? Can you schedule a release date with them? You could not do a custom release date with Film Hub. Whenever the movie's up, it's up. I decided to use Film Hub a little bit later just because of that fact. Hey, me from the future here. I just wanted to give a quick clarification to my answer on this question. So Film Hub does not officially have release dates on your films. However, I noticed in their new update here in the available section that you are now able to put a start and end date on your movie. Now, Film Hub does not claim that these are necessarily release dates, and they'd also don't guarantee that the platforms are going to adhere to whatever you put inside of these dates. For me personally, if you were looking for a specific release date, I would recommend doing something like Amazon Prime or maybe putting it on some sort of OTT platform. And then afterwards, you can distribute on Film Hub like normal. If you don't care about the release date, I would recommend just doing everything on Film Hub, but being able to add some sort of date does give you a little bit more flexibility. Hey, you mentioned that you could upload the music cue sheet with other documents. Can you send me some of those? I also don't have an EPK either. Sorry to plug this twice, but I do have all of this in my 
indie film self-distribution checklist. That also includes an example of an EPK or electronic press kit. These are only meant to be examples, so consult with professionals when necessary. How do I see when my film is published and how do I share it? I mentioned this previously, but you're just gonna have to continuously check the platforms to see when it's live. Film Hub is not going to update you when it is live. I think that's because they just don't know. I don't think the platforms update Film Hub, so there's no way for them to know when it's actually live. In terms of sharing, you're just gonna have to go to your film's landing page on the platform's website and share it from there. There's no special links or anything like that. I'm so ready to give up. I cannot even upload the correct image. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. I will say that creating the artwork was definitely one of the hardest things I had to do when putting my film on Film Hub. These platforms are very, very specific in terms of what they want for their artwork. I'm gonna link their guide in the description, so definitely read that carefully. But here's a couple things you wanna keep in mind when you are creating your artwork. Artwork being your movie poster and things like your icons when they show up on platforms like Amazon Prime. They don't want a lot of text on the image, so you're gonna wanna keep it really clean. Sorry y'all, you can't use any of those fancy laurels that you spent a ton of money getting. Keep them off. Another issue that I had personally and seen from others is that you can't stretch your image at any point, which can be really frustrating because they have some really odd sizes on some of the artwork. So just make sure you're keeping that in mind when you're creating everything. You definitely want a multiple layer Photoshop file where you're able to easily move items on your poster around. Photoshop also has nifty AI tools like the generative AI that I definitely didn't have when I put my movie up. So honestly, it might be a lot easier for you to accomplish the different sizes now that Photoshop has all these different tools. Apparently Film Hub will also create the artwork for you. So you do have that in your back pocket if you have no other options. I've started to notice that they're offering a lot of different paid services. And a lot of times you won't have to pay for these services up front. They'll just take it off the back end as your movie makes money. They actually offered to create the chapter breaks that I had talked about earlier. I think it was around $150, which is kind of a lot, but it was something that I didn't have to do and the service ended up paying for itself. Of course, as any filmmakers, I definitely recommend you do as much of this stuff yourself as possible. I assume that most of you are like me, making no budget features, and you need to make every penny count. Can you upload short films? Yes, you can upload short films, feature films, and series. Film Hub has a list of things they won't take, like adult content, music videos, promotional items. Basically, you can't treat the service like YouTube. They basically niche themselves down to film and television, which honestly is great. This isn't really a question, but I did want to address this last comment here. Run from Film Hub. I've had the worst experience ever. Truth be told, I kind of chose them after watching many videos like this. They are very informative and helpful nonetheless. But my experience was a complete disaster. I spent three years making a great feature film that qualified for the 2023 Academy Awards. I had done amazing marketing and advertising, producing traction. After three months, they paid me $2.35. It would not provide any data. They are not transparent in any way and lied endlessly. Okay, one thing I wanna address here is that you need to keep your expectations pretty low when it comes to these streaming platforms. I feel like Film Hub is actually pretty transparent compared to other places. It's not that Film Hub isn't transparent, it's that the platforms are not transparent. It's no secret with all the strikes that we recently had going on that Netflix is not very transparent when it comes to their streaming numbers. Reason being, they didn't wanna pay all their above and below the line crew royalties because that would mean less money for them. And as much as I like all of the streaming platforms that I own, it's not that they're any different. I have absolutely no idea how Tubi calculates all the money that they give me. Same goes for every other platform that I'm on. None of them are transparent. They just pay us whatever they pay us. And that's the reality of streaming and being an indie filmmaker. We get whatever we get. I'm sorry that this person didn't have a lot of luck on the platform, but it sounds like they just didn't find an audience on the platforms they were on. That is another reality of being a filmmaker. How many films do we see every weekend bomb at the box office? The stakes might be a little bit lower, but it's really no different for indie filmmakers. Something I always say when it comes to indie films is you need to decide what is more important to you, making money or getting eyeballs on your film. If making money is important to you, you need to create a very marketable film and make it for as cheap as absolutely possible. You can make a film for $2,500 to $5,000 and make a profit on Film Hub or Amazon Prime. I'd be in the green right now if my movie was made for less than $5,000. I love that I've made about 50% of my budget back 
but the reality is, is that I wasn't expecting to make any money on this movie. All I really care about right now is getting people to watch it and building up an audience for myself. So my biggest takeaway for any filmmakers is always going to be keep your expectations reasonable and you need to choose which of those two goals is more important to you. I assume if you're watching this video that you're more than likely money driven in some aspect, which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but in cases like this, it may have been more appropriate for you to go find distribution. But if you're like me and you're not so concerned about making money, then you put your film on a place like Film Hub so that way you can get on as many of these platforms as possible. It's great that I've made a lot of my budget back from Tubi, but honestly, I'm more excited that it's getting watched consistently. I don't know, that's just my two cents about everything. If you have a different opinion, definitely let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll definitely continue to make update videos like this as the comments start to roll in. And again, I'll probably do another tutorial video here pretty soon for 2024, just because Film Hub did a refresh on their entire website. It's not super different, but there definitely is a lot of nuances that I'm gonna wanna touch on. Thanks for watching. See you next time.